everyone, welcome to Parents Parents. I'm Mixie Casanova, and guess what I'm about to do, which actually is not really happy, but I'm happy because I, uh, I'm rambling, okay, I'm happy because baby's going to its new home. I'm nervous about it though because, you know, baby's gone, right? Anyhow, baby's in my Packle Bird carrier. I don't know if you can see. Okay, level one. I can't see baby in there, but I'm dropping baby off and um, baby will have a sister which is named Juju baby's gonna have a sister named Juju which is a Quaker player she's a blue Quaker and she's about seven years old or maybe she's eight now oh shoot I think she's seven this year she could be eight I don't know maybe I'll ask when I get there and baby will be in a flight size cage that's split into I don't know, baby might be on top, baby might be on bottom. I don't know how it's gonna go. But yeah. Here we go. Baby's gonna be gone. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record there. I don't know if she's gonna feel comfortable with me um recording baby in its new cage. I'm gonna ask and hopefully she will say, Yeah, that's okay. Cause I would love for you guys to see baby's new home. Um if she says it's okay, then you guys will get to see where baby's going. And yeah, we'll go from there. I think maybe it'll be okay. She takes really good care of her Quaker, so I'm sure she's going to take really good care of baby too. And she's joined. I informed her of a um, Facebook um, Black Cap Conyer group, so she's actually joined that group. So she's been getting um, pictures and hearing what other people are saying and, you know, learning knowledge. So she's been getting more knowledgeable about Conyers and Black Cup Conyers specifically. So I think that's great. I'm really excited. So I am on my way. It's about 15 minutes away. Not 15. Yeah, I would say about 15 minutes away from where I live. So maybe it's not going to be far. Um, Maybe sitting there over here closest to me wondering what's up what's going on I could see the question like what, what where, where we're going where we're we going where are we going I'm excited I don't know I'm really excited I'm really excited it's nerve-wracking because you're like oh my god baby's gone but it's really exciting at the same time because it's just like you know what I knew that it was overdue like baby should have been gone for a while but baby's 10 weeks old so I'm sure baby's way more like should be gone already but I know some babies aren't ready to go until like 12 weeks. I know it ranges, but I know like the bigger the bird, the longer you would keep them. Like African greys don't go to their new home until pretty much, what, four months old? Um, and yeah, I think, when did I get, I brought Pookie, the brown headed parrot home when he was three months old. But he was available to go earlier. It's just that I wasn't able to get him earlier. So maybe he's 10 months old. So maybe he's a two months and a half. Two, two and a half months. Maybe should be able to go. So I'm not too worried about it anyways. Like I said, baby's been eating on, on its own. I haven't really fed it, it anything. We're still waiting to hear back what the prayer, what the DNA says, and I will let you guys definitely know that. Um, so yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine because baby eats on its own at home, so there's really no reason for me to keep continue keeping baby any longer. So I did what you guys don't know. I did get the vet to check over baby. I so I did do that before giving the baby away. Um, especially because, you know, I had to go through the whole entire bird lice thing. I've given baby two drops of ivermectin, which I think you guys seen in my, um, home remedies video. And so baby's all cleaned. That's been taken care of. And the vet checked over baby's body to see like feathers, um, you know, how the baby looks weight wise. And all of that stuff was done, and baby looks good. So, the mother was checked for BB, PPD, or PDD. I think it's PDD. I think it's PDD, because it's something dilation disease. Yeah, so it's PBD, the mother was checked for, and the mother was checked for 
born a virus and I think that's it that's all I checked the mother for and so she came back clean too so we know the baby's clear of that the only other thing would be the four other major diseases that hasn't been checked on baby I'm not worried about it though because my flock has all been checked so and none of, nobody in my flock has it so we should be good to go baby shouldn't have anything um or couldn't if baby does then all my flock would so the fact that all my flock has been checked i'm okay with that and what else i think that is it guys this is a bittersweet moment i told my kids yesterday that baby was leaving they weren't happy even my family was like you should have kept baby baby was great baby loves to go on his back or her back baby's very um has a lot of character you know it would have been a perfect perfect addition to your your flock and i was like yes that is all true however i have a lot of parents already i feel like i'm overwhelmed with the amount of parents that i have we're up to if i include the mother baby's mother and father which is tina and cappy and i include the three other parallels that we got as a breeding pair all of them that brings me to 11 parrots in total in my little apartment so yeah i was like i can't i was i i had 12 parrots all together right now with baby and so i was like i can't i have to let baby go and so i did but i'm sure it'll be fine I'm not too worried. So hey guys, so I didn't record in there because the baby didn't go in its cage. Baby was on mummy the whole entire time. Um, a little hesitation to step up, but I put baby on mummy's finger and then after that baby stepped up back to me and baby stepped up back to mummy and so everything was going great. And yeah, I think it, it'll be well. The, the um, Juju is the bigger sister, which is the Quaker parrot. We'll have to get used to having a new baby around. But besides that, I think mommy and baby was a great connection. Once once baby was on mommy, baby didn't want to leave. And so I didn't record baby's new setup because baby never went in there. But um, I'm sure we'll hear from her lots. And I wish her and the baby bird lots of happy years together. And I've always told her I'm right here. If she has any questions, concerns, I'm here to help. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I seen baby loving up, you know, the new mummy and didn't care about me anymore. <laughs> so I was really, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with uh, the match. And it's, it's contented. Like it was very content to see her or see him, whichever one. We're still waiting. Um, we used to see baby, you know, connect with mummy in such a way. So we're good. <laughs> So guys, the baby black conure is no longer here. I do, I'm sorry if you guys were loving watching the developments. Um, I'm not guaranteeing that we're gonna have more babies or not. I don't know what the future holds at the moment. Because I was home, I was able to do it, but right now, um, financially things are getting tight, so I have to find a job. So, um, yeah, I may not, I may not be, um, having any more babies in the near future. We'll see. Like I said, you never know what could happen, right? You never know what the future holds. So, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, of course, of course, oh, sorry, did you say it again? And please... I wasn't going to say that part. I was going to say, please remember that parenting parents is not about being a pet owner, but being a parent. Ciao.